Welcome to another exciting episode of Stellar Eureka, where we embark on a journey of discovery and wonder. Today, we invite you to delve into the captivating world of Miyazaki mangoes, where we unveil the sweet secrets and remarkable agricultural technology behind Japan's luxury fruit. These mangoes, often referred to as the egg of the sun, are renowned for their extraordinary sweetness, vibrant color variations, and can mostly be found in the sun-kissed island of Kyushu. Join us as we peel back the layers of this tropical treasure, exploring the meticulous cultivation methods, the cutting-edge agricultural technology, and the astonishing journey these mangoes take from farm to table. You won't want to miss a moment of this sweet revelation. Mango farming in Japan is a relatively recent endeavor, with roots stretching back to the mid-1980s. These mangoes trace their lineage to the Irwin mangoes, originally imported from sunny Florida to flourish in Japan's warm and welcoming climates. What sets the Miyazaki mangoes apart is not just their lineage, but the meticulous control over their growth. These mangoes are celebrated for their exceptional sweetness and flavor, a result of stringent quality control standards. To earn the Miyazaki label, each mango must boast a minimum sugar content of 15% and weigh no less than 350 grams. Their striking deep red color is another hallmark. As these precious mangoes grow and mature, they are meticulously monitored. Any imperfections in the skin are carefully tended to, ensuring that the perfect, unblemished surface that's synonymous with Miyazaki mangoes is achieved. When the mangoes reach their peak ripeness, they naturally fall from the plant, landing safely in the waiting nets. This unique cultivation technique has an added advantage. It bathes the mangoes in ample sunlight, resulting in their iconic uniform red hue. Let's dive deeper into what makes these Miyazaki mangoes so special. Every April, Miyazaki holds a mango auction in the city produce wholesale market. The prefecture's best mangoes make their way here, selected by experts based on size, sweetness, shape, and color. Media from all over the country come to report on this because, without a doubt, there's sure to be a mango that sells for thousands of dollars, making it the most expensive mango in the world. The specific mango that will fetch the highest price remains uncertain, but here in Miyazaki, the mango auction is kind of a big deal. While not every Miyazaki mango fetches record-breaking prices, they still come with a significant price tag, often fetching around $50, or approximately 5,000 yen, for a pair. It might sound like a hefty sum for fruit, but these mangoes are more than a casual snack. They are exclusive gifts, appreciated for their rarity and uniqueness. These mangoes are undoubtedly delicious, but how do you grow a $1,000 mango? In Miyazaki, mangoes are grown in vinyl greenhouses, where temperatures and conditions are highly controlled. There are dozens of cultivars of mangoes, and each one is grown to meet Japanese tastes. Not all these baby mangoes will make it to the fruit shops. To produce bigger and tastier mangoes, farmers clip away about 80% of the mangoes from each tree. Because they will get big, the mangoes are supported with clips and strings attached to the roof. In a few months, they're ready to be picked and sold. The true magic of growing Miyazaki mangoes is in the details. To increase the odds of success, farmers rent bees during the flowering season. These bees are essential for the pollination of the plants, a crucial step for growing big and luscious mangoes. If a plant keeps flowering as the farmer wants, it can survive for as long as 35 years. However, even if bees do pollinate the plants, it doesn't necessarily mean that all mangoes will qualify as Tayo no Tamago this season. Only those that are in good shape, visibly contain pits, and are in the right position will be given a chance. To successfully grow one, everything in the greenhouse needs to run smoothly. Temperature must be constant, the room ventilated, the air dehumidified, and the mangoes protected from gravity. When everything else is in place, the priority becomes the sunshine. If a mango slumps into the shade, 
it will be tied with a string to bring it back up. To ensure that sunlight touches every part of the fruit equally, light reflectors are used. Regardless of how much they're worth, every mango is treated with respect. In return, every mango repays the farmers with a unique flavor. This year, thousands of mangoes are ready to be inspected to see how many of them have earned the coveted Taiyo no Tamago title. The first inspection is done by human eye. Inspectors closely analyze each mango's appearance to ensure they are red all throughout, with no hints of green at the bottom. Then a machine sorts them according to sugar content, weight, and size. These inspections sort the mangoes into five grades, two of which earning the mango the Taiyo no Tamago title. The mangoes will now make their way to Miyazaki Central Wholesale Market for the auction. All the care and hard work that the farmers in the prefecture put into their fruit are leading up to this very moment. The hope is to match or exceed the previous figure of 500,000 yen, around $4,000. The auction has officially begun at the Miyazaki Central Wholesale Market. This year's 500,000 yen is 300,000 yen higher than last year and matches the 2019 record. It's the fourth year in a row their mangoes fetch the highest price at the auction. Today's outcome was a successful one for the farmers. But even in a country with a strong gift-giving culture, it's not always guaranteed that such a luxury fruit will find a buyer at auction. These mangoes represent not just a fruit, but a dedication to perfection, an artistry that results in an exceptional taste. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey into the world of Miyazaki mangoes. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. You won't want to miss the next episode of Stellar Eureka, where we continue to unravel the mysteries of our extraordinary world. This is Stellar Eureka, signing off.